All right, good news. We got our breakfast right here. Can't show you right now what I got because I'm on my way to home. So I'll show you breakfast at home instead of right now. I guess I could give you a little sneak peek right now, but I'm not sure if it's quite visible. Well, that's so that's the sneak peek. Very specific. Like you did see the inside of the bag. Now, let me try this one more time. Whoa. It should be better, right? Holy moly. See? Whoa. But can we see anything? No, we can't. But you did see the inside of the bag, so it's... It counts, right? I gave you a sneak peek. How difficult can it be, though? Well, I guess it's more difficult than... <laughs> than I had expected, because I'm doing this with one arm. Oh, there we go. Look, there's something. Yeah. I thought three times would be the charm, but... <laughs> Frankly, I'm terribly mistaken. Uh, well, we got breakfast, and I'm on my way to home. I like running. I really do like running in the morning. It makes me feel more happier. Like the endorphins I pr my body produces while running are a great, great addition <laughs> for, the, for a great start of the day. So I would definitely recommend to go outside in the early morning and do some exercise. Go jogging. Just go running. Well, the hardest part right now, the first thought that crossed my mind when I ended running today, the morning, was actually Saturday. Like, normally the first thought you would have after feeling so exhausted was how to get food. But the first thought that crossed my mind, though, was how I'm, how I'm going to get out of bed saturday early in the morning at 6 a.m as well because i need to i need to run tomorrow as well in order to in order to create some consistency i need to get out of bed every morning at 6 a.m and i never said it was easy like i realize it's not easy but i really want to be healthy so that requires a consistent daily method of approach implying getting out of bed every morning at 6 a.m. and run for 36 minutes so I'm still feeling kind of worried about tomorrow and well yeah I guess I worry too much I guess I should look I guess I should look forward to this delicious breakfast and I should also look forward to this Friday because it's not even 7 p.m. it's almost 7 p.m. though it's supposed to be 6 50 a.m. right now and people are riding their bicycles right now I guess a lot of people woke up today getting ready for work or school I either work or school I guess or some other daily activity they need to attend to oh, I'm almost home I need two more minutes in order to get home look at that car though Wow, I do like the sound of cars in the early morning. I like the I like the sound of cars because it makes me realize that people are waking up, starting to get productive. I like that. I like being productive. I don't like to sleep. I guess I really, really don't like sleeping. It's the one moment of 
your daily life where you where your body gets its well-deserved rest and regeneration am i saying that correctly though regeneration yeah i guess i guess that's the right term but i me i don't like sleeping i prefer to be productive 24 7. i really do So I'm also very worried about this Friday because I haven't slept yesterday. So I would be very, very impressed if I happen to survive this Friday <laughs> till uh, till 10 p.m. I guess. I noticed uh, a car, by the way, just buzzing there. I don't know how to call that, but it made a sound. So I got I got interrupted by that. I looked. I looked to, to see if there, there was any familiar face, but I didn't recognize anyone. All right, we finally reached home, so I'm switching hands right now. Getting my key ready. So this door outside is the main door. There is a telecom right over there where you can, where you can check if anyone's home. I've got my key right here, so plug in the key just like this I'll enter home and I will see you definitely in the next video next update will be inside so for now have a nice Friday enjoy your breakfast love peace and beats <laughs>